Hi, welcome back to the Armenian Museum of America. I'm Gary Linsanani, I'm the curator, and I'm here to share some other objects of our collection with you, the public. Uh, our vaults are full of various objects, a very diverse collection, and we're always happy to uh, dig out some of our treasures for you. Uh, this, this piece actually, these recently came to us. Uh, this was a collection of military medals. When I first glanced at them, I assumed, oh, these are World War I medals, of course, except they're not. These are medals related to the Spanish-American War, and these were medals awarded to Ohanes de Topalian. And Ohanes de Topalian was a, apparently a veteran. And this is a typical medal that was given to veterans from the war, and the, this cross, the center is two soldiers on either side, and somebody kneeling down in subjugation, arms outstretched between them. Uh, and on the top of it is Cuba, Puerto Rico, Philippines, and USA on the four corners of this there. And this is from the Spanish-American War, which was basically America's attempt to re uh, acquire overseas colonies by taking them away from Spain. Um, anyway, th this gentleman apparently was an Ar Armenian in the American military. I'd never heard of any Armenian in the Spanish-American War. Yes, we have some that were in the Civil War, but Spanish-American War. Um, and so this is a medal awarded to them. This piece here is Artillery Company, 2nd sec, uh, Battalion, Company E. Uh, so, and the, uh, it would be on a hat. This is not Mr. Topalian. This is somebody else. But you can see here on the hat the large military cross rifles. This is an infantryman. Whereas Mr. Topalian obviously was in the artillery with the cross cannons here. But this is another piece. And he also, this is an award given to him by the uh, state of Rhode Island. As a veteran of the, of the Spanish-American War, they issued this medal to him in the 1948. And another medal issued by the state of Massachusetts to him. And on this one, you can see the Minuteman there, uh, and on either side of it, uh, these, uh, the American Eagle and the um, Bird and Ball of the Marines. So perhaps he was a Marine, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, we have to do more research to find out more about this gentleman. And finally, a set of cufflinks, uh, which again uh, have the, uh, the cross which is the award for the Spanish-American War. So obviously this gentleman was in the Spanish-American War, but I don't know what military unit. I don't even know if it was Army or Navy or Marines, most likely Marines. But the, uh, these were awarded to, um, and was he actually in combat? Or was he part of the occupation forces afterwards? Uh, because once they conquered the areas, there was an insurgency. I don't know, uh, but it's an interesting question. And hopefully I or somebody else will be able to do some military research and find out more about this gentleman, um, Armenian gentleman. This was the Spanish-American War. This is our most recent military acquisition. And Joseph Dardigian came in a couple of weeks ago to donate this to the museum. He was just came back from Armenia. And while in, in Armenia, he met a vet of the war fighting last year in, in uh, Atsak, you know, the, the uh, terrible losses we had here. And this man was a survivor. He fought in several battles in, in the fighting. And when he returned to Yerevan, he had this military flak jacket. And so he gave the jacket to Joe to bring here to the museum to add to our museum. So we will have a piece related to the uh, uh, Armenian armed forces today. Uh, and one of the interesting things in, in, with this jacket was that when Joe was searching the pockets later on, he found the man had left his his name and his birth date in the jacket. Uh, of course, in combat, if he had been killed, this would have helped to identify him uh, when they found his body. Uh, that, you know, this is, even that note is an important piece there. So this is something, uh, when you talk about our, um, uh, objects in museums, I mean, every object is a potential museum object in the sense that it tells a story about something. Uh, we tend to focus, when we think about museums, we tend to think about ancient objects, classical period, medieval period, and all that there. But the things around us today, these are artifacts also, and these will be the sort of things you might need in a museum or you want to save in a museum to preserve for later generations because it tells it some sort of aspect of the story. And so this tells two aspects of Armenians in the military. 
Thank you for joining us. The Armenian Museum is here to share our stories, our culture, our history with you, the public. Uh, we thank you for joining us today. We hope you'll come back. This is the 50th anniversary of the museum this year. If you haven't joined the museum, please consider doing so. You know, come to our website and all the details are there. We'll hope to see you later. Until then, stay safe.